Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at the Polish Lavu Shelter Half. This is a pretty sweet rendition of the canvas shelter half poncho variation. You know, a lot of them are square in format, but the Polish military went with a triangular, almost teardrop shaped version of their ponchos, which makes a really nice poncho and a really sweet canvas teepee. But I'm six foot two, and even with the size three ponchos, it's still a little bit on the small side for me. So I'm actually thinking about modding mine, putting a skirt around it to make it a more substantial shelter option, just have it as a dedicated teepee. But before I do that, I thought it'd be really cool if we took a look at some setup options with a single poncho. We'll take a look at the, the footprint of it, see what kind of ground cover we have. We'll look at the standard version of the setup with the individual poncho, and then maybe an alternative version to get a little bit more coverage. Welcome to Endurance Room. As you can see, it's a pretty substantial poncho. You've got coverage all the way down to the floor. There's room underneath for your backpack, your nice hood. You also have armholes on both sides, unlike the Plosh Palak or some other similar ponchos. So really cool design. This is a really simple mod you can do to your Lavu. I just took a piece of webbing folded it over on itself and stitched it down to the peak of the hood. So this lets me suspend my shelter from a ridge line rather than use the center pole for the teepee or even as a single shelter. So you don't have the pole in the front of the shelter that you're fighting over getting in and out of it. It just frees up space. It takes five minutes. I've seen guys use leather. You could use paracord. Uh, webbing works really good. It's nice and strong. And all I did was fold it over on itself and bring it back around and then stitch it down. Now let's take a look at the size of this with it laid down flat. That's a pretty good sized piece of canvas. Like I said, I'm six foot two. Right? Let's take a look at it in the stock configuration for the individual shelter, and then we'll look at a, a variation or two. Set up a paracord ridge line, and with the prusik loop hanging down, it's about solar plexus height on me, so about you know four feet. Let's lay a sleeping pad in so we get an idea of the size. It's right down in my face. I've got about three inches for my nose and I can feel my breath, my body heat coming off of the canvas, which is nice. You know, my feet are touching, which is suboptimal. And I have room behind me for my backpack. That's about it. And then, but I've got about that much cover. I've got about an arm's width to my, behind me that I could stage my backpack in, my gear. But there it is. Now let's play around with it a little bit. I think it might be cool if we flip it around instead of having the peak up at the top. Let's put that at the back of the shelter and widen out the front. We've got our center grommet. And we'll use our webbing loop. Hmm. 
We've got about a foot, foot and a half of cover now, just from guying those out and flipping the poncho around. Definitely made a difference. I've got about an extra foot of coverage this way from the edge of the bed, which, you know, when you're dealing with that much, that's, that's a pretty substantial change. It's significant. There's one more thing that I can think of that we can improve upon this, especially in fair weather. I've actually got room to, to sit down in the shelter now and laying out. I've got more room as well. It, the shelter's not right in my face. I've got some airflow at the back, room for my gear. Not too bad. I like it. I definitely feel like I have more coverage with the poncho reversed this fashion. Um, just adding these guy lines made a really significant difference. I like being able to sit up inside of the shelter, still having overhead coverage, not having the poncho all the way down in my face as I'm laying down is nice. And in warm weather, having that space gives you good airflow. If you want to block it off, you could just lay your backpack down there and that'll help cl close it up. Alternatively, if you want to get bush crafty, just take some deadfall and stack them behind it to give yourself a little bit of a wall. And that'll fill in the gap, give you some coverage and still have the height at the rear of the shelter. That's a trick I do with my plush palakas all the time when I'm using a single as a shelter option. You get the idea, it takes no time at all. You just fill in the air with some deadfall, some debris. You can kick leaf litter up after you have those sticks to block it off and that'll close up the back and still give you the height on the inside of the shelter. Well, right on everybody. I hope you enjoyed our look at the Polish Levu, Polish Polaka. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just let me know down below and I'll catch you soon. Cheers everyone.